Hello, welcome to fall term at Blue Mountain Community College. This video is for to help students get started with uh, taking an online course, how to get into the online course website. Not only for you know our online courses for our ELL or web-based course, web conferencing courses, or our face-to-face -face classes that use eCompanion. This website you're probably familiar with, but when you come up to to this website, look at the top, you'll see a My BMCC and you click on students. We want to start gearing students towards the student portal. Obviously, you see your student email, you see the Wolf Web. This one is for eCompanion. We need to get students logged into the online course website. If you're taking an online course, you need to be logged in the first day and log in maybe every other day to make sure that you're staying up to date in your course. Face-to-face -face classes, it's a little bit different because you have your instructor in front of you, but online students need to be logged in no later in the, than in fall term 2015 by October 2nd, Wednesday, or else your instructor could drop you. But uh, enough of that said, you're going to come to the eCompanion. You're going to click on that little link right there. There's a couple things that you want to know before you log into your course website. You want to make sure that your computer is compatible. Um, we have a lot of different computers, Safari, you know, that different different operating systems, a Mac, an Apple, um, they use Safari browsers, you use Chrome, you use Firefox, some people like Explorer. It doesn't matter, this system will work with all, it just has to have the right setup. So what you want to do is you want to come here, you want to click on the technical requirements. Here, you don't need to call an IT help desk, you don't have to call e you know, the e-learning office, you might be able to solve your own problems right here by making sure your computer is set up if there are errors. So you can see your browser settings, you can do a browser check, which is highly recommended. We have a lot of students using mobile devices, so you can actually click on these and see what the browser requirements. Some of the Androids don't, you know, there's different things there, you know, um, I, iPhones, you got it, or iPads, you got to have the cookies enabled. You know, there's different requirements, but you can find all the information just by clicking on the technical requirements tab on the online course website. Bookstore information is is found right here. You can link right to our bookstore right there um, for course materials. Some courses have ebooks inside. Some courses have open education resource books that are free. Um, so check with the bookstore to make sure. Before you go out and rent a book or buy a book, even from the bookstore, just make sure that uh, if, the, if it says it's optional in the bookstore, this probably means there's an ebook inside. The student emails, there's a lot of issues here. Just because you can't log, you can log in here, but you can't get in your student email. If for student emails, you need to contact the BMCC IT help desk at 541 2757 5827. And then obviously, my email is. Bruce Kaus at it's B Kaus at Blue CC for assistance on this site. I can help you. The IT help desk can help you. You know, we're here to get you started in the first day. But to, to log in, you're going to basically log in using your BMCC student 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 ID. And so I'm going to log in as a student. And then your password is going to be your month and M M D D. Um, with your month and day for new students. Returning students should be able to log in. If you are a returning student and you cannot get logged in, you click on you can click on this forgot your password. And the email that is assigned to any student at Blue Mountain Community College is their BMCC student email. It will send you an email within a minute or two. Then you can actually log in change your password and log in. It's highly recommended to do that the first week of school is if it doesn't work, click on the forgot password and you should be good to go. But I'm going to log in and on my month and day of birth. For me, it's October 20th. So obviously, you know, I put the 1020 in there. If it's February 4th, it could be 204 or 0204, depending on when you registered. New students, it would be the 0204. Click on sign in, and everybody will have the same page. It'll look here. 
it'll basically you'll have a student orientation tutorial then underneath there your fall term classes will show up september 27th if you need tutoring you can click on the tutoring link right here and you can get a lot of tutoring free online web-based tutoring and then obviously um you are you're ready to go um highly recommended as new students to go through the student orientation tutorial it'll give you information on how to what a threaded discussion what does that mean it's a text-based discussion like you're having you're doing the introduction for yourself you'll submit papers to the dropbox there's bookstore information and this if you do anything do the threaded discussion practice submitting as your homework and watch your video tutorials the rest of this is to give you tips on how to be successful in an online course. But if you can get into here, you're going to be able to get started early in the first week. Remember, online students, make sure that you are actually logging in your course and being engaged. If you need help, contact our student success coaches or the Student Learning Center for tutoring, and we'll be able to help you out. Any student that's taken an ELL class will actually access that link straight through here unless you're going to an outer campus. Other than that, I wish all students the best of luck at Blue Mountain Community College in the academic year 2015-2016 and have a great fall.